I'm Dan Maynard, and I'm an ecologist at ETH Zurich's Crowther Lab. One of the problems with climate change is that the worse it gets, the worse it gets. Let's find out why and how nature can help reverse this trend. Earth's carbon is stored in three main pools, land, the oceans, and the atmosphere. The total amount of carbon doesn't change, but it does move around between these pools. That's called the carbon cycle. For instance, plants absorb carbon from the atmosphere and use it to make leaves, stems, and roots. And when these plants die, all of that carbon gets released back into the atmosphere. But some of the carbon from decaying plants and animals actually gets locked in the ground, and it can stay there for hundreds or even thousands of years. With enough time, they can even form substances like oil. Humans have introduced a big change into the carbon cycle. Burning fossil fuels moves carbon that was stored underground into the atmosphere. That extra carbon traps heat in our atmosphere, setting new cycles into motion, leading to what scientists call feedback loops. These can either accelerate or slow the rate of climate change. For instance, when frozen soil thaws, dormant microorganisms become active. They decompose thawed plant material and release carbon from the soil into the atmosphere, which then traps even more heat and accelerates warming. That's an example of a positive feedback loop, a vicious cycle that increases warming. That's why the worse climate change gets, the worse it gets. Even our own behavior is caught in a positive feedback loop. Burning fossil fuels for energy has transformed human life by making us more productive. The more productive we are, the more our economies and populations grow, causing us to burn even more fossil fuels. So how do we get out of these vicious cycles? Luckily, negative feedback loops are virtuous cycles that can help cool the climate. For example, higher temperatures and more CO2 in the atmosphere can actually fuel plant growth in some areas. This means that healthy, diverse ecosystems have the potential to absorb some of that excess carbon and help restabilize the climate. These negative feedback loops aren't strong enough to solve climate change, but they can help slow global warming while we transition to fossil fuel-free economies. If we work with powerful, helpful feedback loops, we can prevent climate change from spiraling out of control. First, we must cut back on fossil fuels and protect diverse ecosystems that can draw down excess carbon, reducing how much heat the atmosphere traps. Those actions will help restabilize the carbon cycle and ultimately the climate.